In this video, we are going to show the basic installation of a geothermal loop system. Let's begin with a horizontal system. Before installing a geothermal line, the access for the pipe to reach the home internally is usually installed in the crawl space or foundation of the home as the home is being built. The access must be uncovered before the pipes can be installed. From that point on, the trench for the loop is dug by the excavator. The trench is dug away from the home with a minimum distance of 10 feet from utility lines, foundations, and property lines. Counties may have specific code that differs from these standards. Trenches can be curved and turn corners, but each trench must be a minimum of 8 to 10 feet apart from each other. Horizontal systems are ideal for homes with a larger lot that allows for enough space for the loop to be installed according to code. Loop and system size is determined by the size of the home and the size of the system, which is needed to properly heat the home. This is determined by special software provided by your geothermal system installer. It can even tell you the operating costs of different system options. Once the trench is dug, the pipes can be connected to the access point in the home. In this case, the white PVC pipe is providing access to the basement of the home where the furnace will be installed and the geothermal pipes will be connected. One pipe is now connected to the access point in the home and the second pipe can be installed. The pipes are then rolled out to be laid in the trench. The two pipes are then connected to a manifold system as you can see pictured in the top right. The two pipes are connected to the manifold and four pipes are now available to support the four-ton system being installed. Two pipes are placed on each side of the trench two feet apart. All pipes are installed below the frost line. The pipes are held in place by staples, which are easily installed with a hammer or mallet. The staples hold the pipes in place as the dirt is filled into the trench. Backfill must be done carefully to avoid disturbing the pipes. The entire area is then covered and the loop installation is complete. A vertical loop system is often used on a pre-existing home where space is limited. A vertical geothermal loop system is installed very similar to a well. The location of the dig site is determined before the truck arrives to dig the bores to make sure that the area is clear of utility lines and meets local regulations. Bore holes are generally dug between 150 to 300 feet deep. The bore holes run vertically parallel and are spaced about 10 feet apart. These loops make a simple U-shape. One bore is required per ton based on the system size needed for the home. For example, a four-ton system will have four bores. A pressure test should be run before inserting the pipes. That completes our geothermal installation video. 